Uh, I will be passing the screen and the microphone to John here in a second. Of course, first and foremost, trading commodity futures and options involves a substantial risk of loss. This webinar is for educational purposes. Uh, past performance, not indicative of future results. Uh, we are happy to have John from the CME to go over uh, the new product. I actually was looking forward for the micro crude oil futures. I think it's a good tool, especially with the volatility of crude oil futures. Uh, very quickly about Canon Trading. Canon Trading is an independent introducing broker uh, providing futures trading services since 1988. And we offer pretty much any service that is related to futures trading. If you're a small retail client or a large, uh, very large uh, trading fund or individual, if you need broker assistance or if you want to trade online, uh, if you have special needs when it comes to charting or trading software, options, spreads, etc., uh, we offer it all. That's what we do is futures trading services. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make uh, John the presenter. And John will start the presentation on the micro crude oil futures. Thanks, Juan. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can. I can. All right. Perfect. Let's get started. So thanks for having me here today. And thanks to, uh, to all those that are tuning in. Um, we launched CME Group has launched micro WTI crude oil futures this past Sunday. So on Sunday night's open, Monday night or Monday's trading date, we launched these products. And his, uh, if you've been following along with the CME Group launch of micros, if you heard us talk about uh, the Bitcoin last or back in May, the Bitcoin launch, micro Bitcoin launch was the third largest launch in the history of CME Group. This launch on Sunday night, just surpassed that. So this is now the third largest launch in the history of CME Group. And in just the first two trading days, we've done almost 42,000 contracts. And what's even more impressive than that number, the 42K number, is that it, this is a global product right out of the gate. We're seeing 22% of the volumes coming out of the APAC region, 16% um, coming from EMEA. So that's, it's incredible to see the early adoption from the retail community to this product. And we knew that it would be, it would resonate quickly because of all the customer demand that we've seen over the last two plus years since we started really launching uh, more micro contracts since May of 2019. So let's get into it, right into a disclaimer from the CME group. Um, we also, we want to acknowledge that futures trading isn't suitable for all investors. These are leveraged products that can uh, incur the risk of loss. So before going into any new product or any new asset class, really encourage you to go out there, do your homework, become fully educated on the, the products and, and markets that you're trading to give yourself the best opportunity to succeed. And if you're looking for any educational information on futures or on CME Group product in particular, you can go to cmegroup.com and in the top banner, if you click on education, you'll go into the CME Institute and we have thousands of, of modules and educational content for you to comb through and, and really, really dive into. Okay, so here's a look at how we're gonna spend our time together. I've split it up into four parts. And part one, we're gonna talk about WTI crude oil and the background that that contract has at the CME Group. We're gonna go into the actual product, the micro WTI crude oil future that launched over the weekend. Part three, we're going to talk about different trading um, strategies and benefits that this smaller product offers the, the trading community. And then we'll round out today's session just highlighting a few of the different tools and resources that we offer at free of charge to, uh, to the trading community. So part one, what's the story on WTI crude oil futures? So if you're unfamiliar with CME Group and our products, we offer, or we now offer, three varieties of WTI crude oil futures. We offer a standard contract, which is our CL contract. We offer an E-mini contract, ticker on that's QM. And now we just launched this micro crude oil futures contract on Sunday night. So we now have three different size products 
that are available for all different types of trader traders and different types of strategies. And WTI crude oil is priced out at Cushing, Oklahoma. And these contracts in particular have deep ties to energy markets all over the world. And we'd like to say that our products offer the most efficient way to trade on U.S. and international events that are related to crude oil. And as Alan alluded to in the beginning, crude oil markets are highly active and they're highly volatile. And with that volatility becomes opportunities in nearly all different market conditions. And these products in particular, when you compare them to alternatives such as uh, ETFs or, or common stock, our WTI crude oil products, they offer direct exposure to the underlying crude oil. So it's not a blend of products. This is the underlier is crude oil. And our products serve as a central point of global price discovery. And it, we like to say that it better serves those that want to efficiently manage risk and speculate on market direction because of that pure exposure. And then backing up a little bit and touching on what WTI stands for. So WTI stands for West Texas Intermediate. And what that is, it's a US blend of several, several streams of domestic light sweet crude oil. And like we just said, the delivery point for this contract is located in Cushing, Oklahoma, and it's home to 90 million barrels of storage capacity. And on any given day, more than three and a half million barrels can flow in and more than three million barrels can flow out. So it's, a, it's really a central hub for the, uh, for, the crude, for the crude market. And looking at what drives this market, crude oil is really a, a pure supply and demand market. So it's, it's impacted by the amount of crude production and the amount of crude um, consumed. And so when you look on this slide, on the left-hand side, you'll take a look at some of the crude production statistics. And U.S. crude production hit a record high of 13.1 million barrels a day this past March, so in March 2021. And U.S. is became the world's largest crude producer, I believe it was last year, and we still remain the largest um, crude producer going into this year, 2021. And when you look at the amount of crude that's being exported each day, you see in this first bullet, U.S. crude exports hit a record high of 3.2 million barrels a day in 2020. And this year, that's down slightly, right around 3.1 million barrels a day. But that's still an enormous uh, output of crude. And a record of 3.7 million barrels a day of U.S. crude was exported in February of last year. So right before the pandemic, we hit a record of 3.7 million barrels a day. And the crude exports to China and India are really catalysts behind that, that United States record of the record year of exports. And so we just saw the, the growth in U.S. crude production. We saw how much crude is being exported. And now that translates over into the growth of our CL contract. So that's our standard crude oil futures contract. And so when you look at how our contracts are performing, CL has an average open interest. This year, it hit a two-year high of 2.5 million in February. And then when you look at the ADV of this year, crude oil's ADV is a little over a million contracts a day, and that's up almost 6% year over year month to date. And again, what, what we really like to, to hammer home with the crude oil market in particular, this is really a global product. This is a global market. And this year in our standard contract, 25% of all the futures volume is coming from outside of the United States. And that's important to us because we wanna make sure that there's high liquidity and market participants across every single trading session, the US trading session, the overnight, the, the European and the APEC trading sessions, those are is equally important to us because we want to make sure that these are liquid, these are um, highly, highly liquid, and there's volume through all three trading sessions to make sure that everybody, regardless of their location around the globe, can use these products to their advantage. And then here's a quick graph from bar chart just showing the price appreciation this year on CL alone. This was taken yesterday. And it looks like at the beginning of this year, crude was trading around $48 a barrel. And today, I believe it's 
On this graph, it's a little over 75, but today I think it's hovering around around 73, 72 and a half. So that's a price appreciation of uh, a little over 52%. So there has been a lot of price action in, in this market. There's a volatile market and with, with that action, with that volatility, I like to say comes trading opportunities. All right, so let's talk about the star of the show, the new micro WTI crude oil futures contracts. So we launched these on Sunday night and we did so because we've seen an enormous customer demand for these smaller, more accessible futures contracts that are the micros. And we've had micro contracts on gold, on FX, back, dating back to 20, I think it was 2009, 2010, but they really, the demand for these smaller products has really exploded since we launched our micro EME equity complex back in May of 2019. So since then, I, I can't even tell you how many people have asked us to launch a micro crude oil contract because our standard contract may have been too large for, for the average retail investor. So as a direct result of that customer demand and that customer feedback, we're launching these small, or we did launch these small micro WTI crude oil futures. It gives traders of all sizes a smaller, more precise instrument to, to manage their, their crude oil exposure, whether they're speculating or, or hedging. Um, and this isn't just a product for the retail community. This is a product for everybody. This is this smaller, um, lesser notional, lesser margin requirement um, product really can be advantageous and beneficial to all different trader types, institutional and retail alike. Because at one tenth, this is a contract that is one tenth the size. So it adheres to our, to our micro methodology and our micro sizing. This contract is one tenth the size of our standard contract, and it offers the exact same um, benefits that are and exposure that our standard contract does. And we'll go over those specs right here. So, looking at this new contract, we launched again on uh, Sunday night for Monday's open or for Monday's trade date. The contract size on this new micro product is 100 barrels per contract. And that's one tenth of our standard CL contract. And the minimum tick is a penny per barrel. So this ticks in pennies. And the dollar value per tick on this micro crude is $1 per contract. So it's a dollar a tick and it ticks in pennies. And the product code on this new contract is MCL. We launched with a margin requirement of $530. And again, this is the exchange margin requirement. You might have a different uh, margin requirements your broker. So from an exchange standpoint, we launched with a requirement of $530. And something that is different from our standard contract is the settlement. So this small, this micro contract is a financially settled product. So our standard contract is physically settled where you can actually, actually get physical crude if you go into expiration and take delivery on that. This contract doesn't settle to the physical. This is a financially cash settled product. And the expiration on this is different than CL as well. So this expiration, this product goes off the board, off the board one day prior to the expiration of CL. And we'll go over the CL expiration schedule in a few slides. And the trading hours on this product are our standard trading hours. We open on Friday at 5 p.m. We, I'm sorry, open on Sunday at 5 p.m., close on Friday at 4 p.m., and each day we have a 60-minute trading halt at 4 p.m. Central Time. That's when we run our batch and send all of the trades and positions over to our SCM. And so here's a quick slide just comparing the micro contract, the e-mini crude contract, and the standard contract. And I won't go into every single thing on this, but what I really want to highlight is just the different contract sizes here. The micro crude, again, is 100 barrels per, per contract. The mini contract is 500 barrels, and standard contract is 1,000 barrels. And then looking at the different margin, it says settlement here, but that should say margin. The margin requirement on the micro crude is $530. The mini is $2,650, and the standard contract is 500, I'm sorry, $5,300. So 
just hammering home that this micro contract is one tenth the size of our standard crude contract. It offers exposure to 100 barrels per contract, and to set the margin on that is $530, and it's and it's financially settled. Okay, so let's talk about why somebody should be interested in trading uh, this micro crude oil. And the conversation could really be, why is anybody interested in trading crude oil and futures on crude oil in particular? And some of the, the bullets on this slide highlight some reasons why somebody should at least look at this contract and look at this market. So these are leverage contracts. They are they're futures contracts, so they're leveraged. And leverage is an advantage when used properly. It's a disadvantage when you become a little reckless, you don't fully understand how to use leverage to your benefit, but when understood and when used correctly, it's definitely an advantage. And historically, crude oil is one of the most volatile tradable products on CME Group prior to us launching um, the crypto asset classes, so the Bitcoin and the Ether contracts that we now offer. Historically, crude oil was one of the most volatile products that we had. So when leverage is used properly, Volatility really becomes the trader's best friend. And with all that volatility, because, uh, because trading opportunities, because uh, opportunities to, to make money or manage risk. And again, crude oil is really a pure supply and demand market. It's the amount of crude oil being produced, the amount of crude oil being consumed is really going to drive that price. There's no CEO scandals to worry about. There's no stock splits. There's no rebalancing like ETFs. There's no earnings in crude. It's really, you got to take a look at all the different um, reports that are coming out in terms of how much crude is being consumed, how much crude is being produced. And when you look on this, on this graph on the right-hand side of this page, you'll see how this market really, really forms. It's a trend consolidate trend market. Whereas you'll see, you'll see crude really find, find its level and then something will happen. Price will move if there's a supply and demand change, and then it will find its level again. So that's, to me, I really like to look for that trend consolidate, trend nature of a market. And it, it really, it resonates with me and it provides, it provides a good uh, market to trade. So Alon, do you have anything to add on this slide? Do you wanna jump in? Yes, I do actually. Uh, crude oil, like you mentioned, is can be very volatile and we all saw what happened last year when it went negative and a lot of clients for right or wrong like to use the approach of averaging up or averaging down i think that makes the micros very attractive because if you're going to average in average up you better have enough cushion to do so so a lot of traders they like the what i call uh, buy the fear and sell the greed so when the market goes to extreme, like today is a good, a good example, you know, it's down over two and a half dollars. Uh, certain traders will look to, okay, I'm, I want to, I want to average in, I want to average in on the long side because I feel that sooner or later the market will come back to the mean. And of course, like every other strategy, there's good, bad, and the ugly and in between, but with the micro crude oil, just like some of the other micro contracts, like the micro NASDAQ, uh, definitely the micro Bitcoin, to me, on a personal level, my stomach feels much better when I uh, use the micro contracts with that approach. Uh, so that's my little two cents on that matter. Uh, I think the graphs you're showing are, are perfect. There's no need to show any other graphs. And just heads up, everybody, I've seen some questions. Uh, we will have an FAQ session at the end of the presentation. Perfect. And we're going to go into a scaling example here in a couple minutes. And when you look at this slide right here, I put this together and this it's called features of micro WTI crude oil futures, but it really can be called the features of micro futures. Because like you said, these smaller products really allow traders to, to average in or what I like to say, scale in and scale out. You can precisely scale your exposure with these smaller contracts. Whereas if you were a one lot CL trader before, you can't really, you can't scale with a one lot. But if you're trading a handful of micros, you can scale in, you can put a lot on, you can put two lots on, put three lots on to get to that, that certain notional that you're looking for. So these, these smaller products, they add more granularity to your energy trading and risk management strategies. 
and you can really fine tune your market exposure because this contract is only um, made up of 100 barrels per contract, 100 barrels of crude oil per contract. And then these smaller products, these micro products really allow people to manage their positions with more versatility. So we have three different varieties of crude oil products on the future side uh, with the minis, the micros, and the standard. So depending on where you're at and your risk tolerance and your account size, these these small products and the variety of all three really allow people more versatility to manage those positions. And these small products do add access and capital efficiency to some of the world's most liquid futures contracts. And this is the world's most liquid uh, future, CL is the world's most liquid futures contract. So these smaller micro products really open the door and lessen a barrier of entry for some traders that may, may not have been comfortable assuming some of the risk or taking on some of that uh, larger exposure for the, the standard CL contracts. And so these are 24 hour markets or 23 by six for that, for that one hour that we're down during the day when we send our batch over to the FCMs. So these markets are truly, uh, truly global and they allow people to trade and manage risk and speculate around the clock. So here's a really simple example of just a, just a PL example of a micro trader that looked to get long crude. So very simple. Remember crude oil, this micro crude oil contract in particular, it's a dollar per tick, right? So this trader had the opinion that global economies were going to reopen. OPEC's going to be able to maintain current production levels and price on CL, I'm sorry, price on MCL is going to appreciate. So this trader goes along one contract at $74, right? So they hold this, if you look through this progression, they hold this contract for, for three trading days. So at the end of the first trading day, their, their position appreciated by 50, 50 cents. So that's a $50 uh, profit right there. The second trading day at the end of there, their, their position has appreciated by $1.63. So it's 163 points at $1 a point, that's $163 of profit. On the third trading day, you see that uh, contract trading at 74.84. If they got in at 74, that's an 84 tick appreciation, a dollar tick, $84. This trader has seen enough. They want to get out at $75.23. Cruise trading at 75.23. That's a 123 tick move from where they got in at a dollar a tick. This trader would profit before commissions and fees and all that, this trader would profit $123. So it's a very simple example of how this market um, works, how the tick works. It's a tick value of $1 and it ticks in pennies. And the margin again on this micro crude contract is $530 and that's the exchange margin. And here is an illustration of uh, how micros can used in scaling in or scaling out. And as Alan alluded to, you can you can average in or you can scale in and you can do the exact same when you, when you average out or scale out. So on this slide, you'll see that somebody went long five micro or five uh, micro crude oil contracts around 73.50. That price appreciates. They're long five contracts. That price appreciates to 74.50. They want to lock in some of that profit, but they still want to maintain some of their exposure. So they sell three contracts, which leaves them so long too. Price appreciates to another level around 75, lock in some more profit by selling a contract. They're maintaining a one lot exposure. So that, that one lot still appreciates. They go, they sell another, they sell their last uh, position at 76, right? So what we're seeing with these micro contracts, we're seeing some traders be more comfortable scaling in, scaling out, and letting their positions um, stay on and soar to, to higher profit, profit targets, and, and vice versa if you're scaling in. If, if you see that the price is trading at 76 and you think that price is going to depreciate, you might get in at 75. You might get in at one at 75. You average in another at 74, 73, 73, 50. It works both ways. So with these, with these small contracts, you're trading one, two, or I shouldn't say one, but 
two, three, four, five, six of these, you can scale in and scale out versus trading a one line. And then getting short energy. These are futures contracts, so you can go short just as easy as you can go long. And this is a real simple example of just comparing on how a trader can short the, the crude oil market with our micro crude futures, a common stock on Exxon, common stock on Schlumberger, and an ETF, a select energy ETF. And if all these, if this trader takes the same position in all four of these, all four of these investment vehicles, the notional exposure, if, tra if crude's trading at $74 a barrel, one micro contract, micro crude contract, has a notional exposure of $7,400. So if you were to initiate one position in MCL, your margin requirement on that is $530. If you were to trade on margin and initiate a short position in Exxon Schlumberger or that Select Energy ETF, you would be required to put up $3,700 versus the $530 on the, on the future side. And then if you look down to one, two, three, four, the fifth row here, if the price on all four of these, all things remaining the same, the price depreciates on all four of these by 15%, you'll see the profit for each one of these trades. And micro crude, it does have the highest profit, but it's not, it's not a material difference when you really look at, when you compare the profit on NCL versus Exxon Schlumberger or the select energy. But when you look at the amount of money that you had to put up to make that money, uh, uh, lock in that profit, you're putting up $530 to make $1,100, whereas you're putting up $3,700 to make $1,100. And so when you compare the benefits and some of the features that these markets offer, our markets offer, the futures markets, I should say, offer around the clock trading versus um, the common stock and ETF markets that are only open from 8 a.m. Central Time to uh, 3 p.m. Central Time. I'm sorry, 8.30, right? Is the, is the cash open? And then they're spreading efficiencies on the micro uh, WTI crude oil futures where there aren't on the, uh, the Exxon or Schlumberger, but there are on the ETF. And when you look at the dividends, there are no dividends on our, that's a disadvantage for us. There are no dividends on our micro crude futures contracts, but there are an Exxon, Schlumberger, and ETF. And then this is a slide that I, I couldn't believe it when I originally built this slide, but CL, and it is really across the board when you compare our E-mini S&P, CL, our 10-year, um, when you look at the size of our futures markets versus their corresponding ETFs, our markets are on, um, a daily average notional traded are far, far larger than their corresponding ETF. And when you look at CL in particular, CL out trades all four of these on this screen, the USO, the XLE, the AMLP, and the Vanguard ETFs. So four of the largest energy ETFs in the world, the one CL contract out trades them all, all combined. So. It's really, it's, when you look at the, the enormity of some of the futures markets and you compare them to, to the energy, I'm sorry, to the ETF course, the corresponding ETFs, it's, it's really eye-opening to see how big our markets are. And it truly is where the world comes to trade and manage risk. So we always want to say, go into a market that's highly liquid because you never want to get stuck in an illiquid market. And then the perfect segue into this expiration slide. So I'm gonna briefly go over this. I'm gonna run through it pretty quick. And if you have any questions, please let me know at the end. But as we stated before, this micro WTI crude oil contract is a financially settled product. So it's not physical, physically settled. So there are two ways to manage the expiration. And so when expiration is approaching, a futures trader that has a position in MCO they can just sit there and do nothing to their to the position if they want. Because it is cash settled, the future will expire and the position will settle into a cash transaction. If you do that, though, you will no longer maintain that exposure to WTI crude oil once that contract expires. So if you wanted to maintain exposure to the underlier, if you wanted to maintain crude exposure, 
say you're trading an August contract and you want to maintain crude exposure going into September, you need to roll that position. And what we were just talking about, you never want to get stuck in an illiquid market, you never want to trade an illiquid market. So if you're rolling, you want to be cognizant of when the volume in the front month in the current month that you most likely have a position in, if you're nearing expiration, the volume you're going to see is going to roll from that front month over to deferred month. And you want to make sure that you're watching when that volume, when that volume starts shifting. So here's a graphical representation of this. These are CL contracts. So it's our standard crude oil contract. And the black line is our Fed contract. And you'll see in early Jan, volumes, volumes are fluctuating. You can go up to 600,000, down to 400,000. But you really see near that end of the month. So the third week is when these products go off the board. I think it's 25th, third or fourth week, 25th trading day. That's when CL is, uh, goes off. Once you start nearing that third week, volume really starts to shift from that Feb contract into that March contract. So it's something to be cognizant of. If you want to roll that position, get stuck in an illiquid market where you're going to be forced to cross the bid ask spread and maybe settle for a price that you didn't want, you want to make sure that you're rolling your position when that volume starts to shift to that deferred month. Okay, so briefly going over some of the tools and resources that we have available to, to all traders through cmegroup.com, we actually have an OPEC watch tool on our website that you can go in there and use. What it does is it calculates the probability of potential outcomes of the next OPEC meeting, and it does so by taking all the CL option market price data that we have in our order book. So it takes that price data and it calculates the implied probabilities of OPEC events. And it spits out results into three different categories. And the outcomes are increase output, maintain output cuts, and further output cuts. And then it will assign a probability to each one of those, those outcomes calculated using the nearest weekly and monthly uh, option expiration. And so this is what it looks like. It's not the fanciest of tools, but it's pretty effective when you when you look at it and very straightforward and intuitive, right? So you take a look at this was uh, put together right around July 1st. So if you're looking at the July 1st OPEC meeting outcome probability, the tool based on the options data that it was calculating was calculating 84% of further output cuts coming out of that OPEC meeting. And so this is what it looks like for the current view. You can actually go in there and on the left-hand side, you'll see the different views that are available. We just saw current and you can go back in there and look at a his historical view. So if you're interested to see how accurate this tool was based on past OPEC meetings, you can go in there and play around with it and see, see what this tool was calculating at the time and what that options market was telling us. And then on top of that tool, there's a whole variety of other tools that can be beneficial to, uh, to the retail community, especially if you're trading CL. You have an OPEC watch tool here we just talked about. We have a quick strike options uh, tool if you're, if you're looking to trade options. Uh, we don't have options on MCL yet, but they, uh, they may be coming in the future. The way that we like to operate at the exchange is we'll, we'll launch a contract on the future side. And if that liquidity and participation builds, once we get to a certain point where we're comfortable, we will roll out options on that. Um, there's an open interest heat map tool. There's an economic release calendar. So there's a whole plethora of tools that are available on cmegroup.com. And then also to stay in the know on all the, the industry reports, on those production reports, on those export reports, there are a whole slew of reports um, crude related reports that are available on cmegroup.com. And if you're, if you're looking for these reports in particular, just go to the, uh, the energy section of cmegroup.com and you'll find all these. So key takeaways of today's session. The micro crude oil futures um, are one tenth the size of the standard crude oil futures contract and they offer all of the same advantages and benefits that our standard product offers just at a lesser notional 
lesser margin, lesser tick size. Um, MC, MCL traders will enjoy around the clock trading accessibility, just the same as our CL traders. Um, MCL contracts allow traders to reduce risk from two viewpoints, a smaller margin and smaller notional exposure on these micro contracts. Reduction of risk can lead to better risk management opportunities. An MCL contract can benefit traders by creating flexibility of product size, allowing scaling in, scaling out. Like what we said, we have we have three varieties of the CL contract now. So depending on your, your trading needs, the size of your uh, portfolio, your risk tolerance, you can use all three to, to really manage your positions and fine tune your trading strategies. So I'll pause there. If you have any more, uh, if you want any more information on this product, product in particular, you can go to cmegroup.com. There's a whole, whole bunch of info on there. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have now. Thanks, John. Thank you very much. I thought it was a very, very informative presentation and I, I learned a few things myself as well. <clears throat> um, one thing I personally like about the micros, the micro crude, uh, the micro indices, the micro Bitcoin. Uh, it allows for either small traders or traders that are going from the demo stage and want to go into the live mode to really add uh, the, the feeling that you cannot replace while you're trading in demo. Meaning if you're trading on demo, there's no fear, no greed, no nothing. Uh, but you don't want to jump right away and trade a, a big con contract of crude because then, in my opinion, the risk is a little bit too much. But if you start with one micro crude or one micro NQ, it allows you to get the, uh, pr not practice, but experience the real feeling of trading. So if you've been demo trading and never had a chance or the desire to move into full trading, the next step you can do is start an account and trade the micro contracts. Uh, so for me, that's, that's a big plus. Uh, other than that, it will be interesting to see how the micro and the big crude affect the, the mini crude, which is the half size. But that's a topic for another conversation. Uh, on our website, canontrading.com, if you go to the home page and scroll down, every day we post a blog, and the blog will have uh, different valuable uh, tools and information, including daily support and resistance levels. And the crude oil is definitely one of those markets where we provide it. And many times in the blog, we will share some insight into trading, trading techniques. Uh, different educational features as well as updates like the webinar that we have in. There was one question that uh, was asked earlier. There's actually a few questions. So the micro clearing fees are, are quite a bit lower than the big crude. If I'm correct, John, please, please correct me if I'm wrong. The micro is 50 cents a side, plus you got the two cents NFA. Uh, While well, the big contract of crude is 150 a side plus the two cents NFA, am I correct? That's correct, yes. Right, so the clearing fees are low, the ex meaning the exchange fees are low. Our commissions in general for micros are lower than our regular commissions for uh, regular contracts. It is also a function of what the platform you're using, if you're doing broker assist or online, etc. but your broker can easily assist you with that. Uh, somebody wants to understand the margin, $530 margin, and and Sam, the answer is, in order to initiate a position that you plan on holding um, more than intraday on the micro crude oil, you'll need to have at least $530 in your account to open that position. Now, if you're day trading, uh, a lot of brokers, such as ourselves, will give you lower day trading margins because we assume you're in and out before the end of the day hence less overnight uh, risk, and then the margins can be lower. Uh, this is not related to micro crude oil, but yes, we do offer IRA accounts, and yes, we do uh, accept Canadian accounts. Uh, another private question I got was about the trading platforms. I don't want to waste other people's time, but if you go on our website, you'll see a list of many different platforms, include help me choose a platform. Uh, it's a good platform, most probably we offer it. And we do have more than a few that are free, no monthly fee. And then we have others that have different strengths like spreads or option trades or order flow, Macintosh compatible, etc. 
and that's about it. That's about it. John, anything that you wanted to finish with? No, I mean, from my perspective, I'll be able to share this deck. So if you wanted to circulate it, um, you're more than welcome to. Just yes. appreciate the opportunity to come and speak about this new product. We appreciate you taking the time to, to share the information and present it to our audience. And we look forward for the next one. So, Sounds good. We got micro yield, micro treasury coming up in August. Okay. That should be an interesting one as well. Yep. Cool. All right. Thanks, we'll back then. Thank you, everybody. And have a great, great afternoon and good trading. And some of the questions that I see here will be answered privately momentarily. But thanks again. Bye-bye.